Mrs. Courtney. Miss. So sorry. I'm Roger Kenyon from the Education Authority. Oh. Well, they told me they were sending an inspector round, but I really didn't expect. He would be black. He would be so young. <laughs> My apologies. Now, the authority likes to check that the standards of the evening classes are up to par. I can assure you that my standards here are well over par. I'm glad to hear it. Well, Mr. Kenyon, if you'd like to come with me, I'll show you round. No, 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 please. I'd rather just wander around on my own, if you don't mind. I usually get a much clearer picture that way. <laughs> Everything all right? Everything's okay. Good. We have agreed to differ. Ah, right. Excuse me, please. Ah, our new African. Pardon? Yeah, I've been expecting you. Me? Yes, I was told I'd have a new pupil. Look, it's nearly time for our tea break, so why don't you just go to the back for a minute and I'll take your particulars later. But please, you... Now, to be a good chap and don't argue, just go and sit there, <laughs> right? Yes, but... Yes, please. <laughs> okay. Me sit. <laughs> Are you Mr. Brown? Yes. Oh, I've got a message for you. From her ladyship. Oh, lady who? Uh, Miss <laughs> Courtney. Oh, She's been in here and she wants to see you. Yeah, I know what she does want. Yes, Mr. Brown. Uh, <laughs> uh, you want to see me? In my office, immediately. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, careful, that's coffee. You'll spill it. Por favor. That's coffee. Gracias. Yeah. Go away, go away. <laughs> Them away. Cheers. <laughs> Same again, please. Oh, nothing, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Thank you, love. Pack it the biscuits, please. Oh, I'm sorry, we haven't any left. <laughs> oh, good, good. You've uh, come to have a cup of coffee. Coffee? <laughs> yes, coffee, this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> It's taken you two minutes, 38 seconds exactly to come to my office immediately. I'm glad I didn't ask you to take your time. Well, I'm sorry, I was detained. Well, I thought I'd better tell you that an inspector has arrived. Oh, my conscience is clear. I beg your pardon? Well, apart from the odd parking ticket, I've never had any trouble with the police. <laughs> an education inspector. Ah, oh, I see, I'm sorry, how stupid of me. Yes. Well, he'll probably want to call in on your class. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll uh, deal with him. You don't deal with inspectors from the local authority, Mr. Brown. You cosset them and flatter them and agree with everything they say. Yeah, well, I'll do that as well. I expect he'll want to see your register. My register? You do have a register. Oh, th that register? Yes, of course. Oh, well, you better call it as soon as you get back to your class. Right. By the way, while you're here, the local authority want me to fill in a few details about you on this form. Now, I've got your name. Yes. Address. Yes. Sex. Occasionally. <laughs> Married. Sorry. Uh, no, I, I was engaged once. Matter of fact, I proposed marriage, but it uh, didn't really work out. There was quite a lot of opposition. Her father? No, her husband. I didn't realise she was married at the time. <laughs> What do you do during the day? Oh, well, nothing at the moment, I'm afraid. I'm uh, waiting for a suitable position. And what was your last position? Well, I was teaching at a secondary modern school, but I left. I couldn't stand any more beatings. Well, I didn't think teachers beat children anymore. Oh, no, they don't. It was the other way round. <laughs> I think you'd better take this form and fill it up yourself and bring it back to me later. Right. And do be careful what you say to the inspector. Oh, of course. Oh, by the way, the new student has arrived. You won't forget to add the name to the register, will you? <laughs> Yeah. Um, what uh, you do uh, half the class? I go and learn the English. Hey, go I'm going to learn the English as well. Maybe we learn together, huh? Yes, but what about poor Max? Yeah, what about the poor Max? I'm a crying my eyes out. <sighs> I have an idea. I have uh, lots of ideas. Why not you and Max study together, huh? <laughs> 
Indeed, indeed. Is somebody in the hallway? Right, class, now settle down, please. Quiet. Now, the first thing we have to do before we do anything else is to call the register. So sorry. Right? Ah, that's quite all right. I expect you'll uh, have a bit of difficulty finding your way round at first. Things will seem rather strange. Yes, very strange. Yes. Must be quite a change coming from one of the underdeveloped countries to our more advanced way of life. <laughs> oh, yes. Still, your people are doing remarkably well. Did, did you fly here? Fly? <laughs> How do you mean, Buana? <laughs> you fly in a big iron bird. <laughs> Quite a change from riding an elephant. <laughs> Unless you came by jumbo. <laughs> yes. English joke. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> well, perhaps you'd better sit down. Right? Right, I'm going to call out your names and will you please answer present? Present. Yes, <laughs> uh, Sally, but wait until I've called your name out. Right? Sorry, please. Ranjit Singh. Present and correct, please. <laughs> Giovanni Cupello? Ah, si, professori. No, Giovanni, not professori. No professori? No, you should address me as sir. Sir? Yes. Now I understand. <laughs> you have been to get knotted. <laughs> Come again. Well, to become a sir, you got knotted by the Queen. Uh, the word is knighted, and I'm not that kind of sir. Maximilian Papandrios. Maximilian Papandrios. Mr. Brown is speaking to you. Is he? <laughs> Sorry. You want something? Yeah. Are you here or not? <laughs> Sure, I'm here. Taro Nagazumi. Asshole. <laughs> present. Anna Schmidt. Yeah, present. Suli Chung. Present. Ali Nadim. Gift. <laughs> Gift. I'm surprising you, no? <laughs> Each day, I'm learning a new English word. And I'm finding that gift is another word for peasant. <laughs> very ingenious. Thank you very much. Danielle Favre. Present. And I am all here. Oh. <laughs> See that? Uh, Jamila Ranja. Ranji. Oh. Gorda Hefni. <laughs> yes, you're here. And Juan Cervantes? Por favor. Present. Por favor. You're here. Present. Well, I better take down your particulars, otherwise I may get into hot water. Oh, oh. You are going to have a hard bath? <laughs> no, Ali, it's just another way of saying I may get into trouble. Oh, dear. You have been committing some grievous misdemeanor. Uh, <laughs> not at all. There's an inspector from the local education authority coming round. Yeah, the bigger boss. Yes, oh. I suppose you could say that, oh. but from my experience, they're usually interfering old fogies. <laughs> you don't like them? Not particularly. Frankly, they're quite useless and about as outdated as their teaching methods. I mean, what's the point of learning past participles, cognate objects or subordinate clauses? It's far more useful to try to teach a foreign student how to uh, order a meal or find accommodation. You appear to have some rather unique ideas. Oh, I suppose I have. You know, you speak English fairly well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> now, what is your name? Roger Kenyon. Roger Kenyon. Ah, yes. ah Miss Courtney, I'm just uh, completing the register and getting the details of our new student before that inspector chappy pokes <laughs> his nose in. Yes. Mr. Brown. I shan't be a moment, Miss Courtney. What is your job? Inspector. Oh. What, local transport? <laughs> Local Education Authority. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought he was the new student. The new student is a female. Is she? Well, you didn't tell me that. Oh, my apologies, Mr. Kenyon, and I do assure you that Mr. Brown will be severely dealt with. <laughs> I can't remember when I last enjoyed myself so much. I beg your pardon? Enjoyed yourself? You know, Miss Courtney, your Mr. Brown is a remarkable man. I am? He is? Yes. His teaching methods may be somewhat revolutionary, but they appear to work. I have always encouraged my staff to be forward-thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I'll pass on your comments to the authority. Perhaps they revise their textbooks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must put in an appearance at the other classes. Oh, well, uh, keep up the good work, Mr. Brown. And thank you very much for the coffee. <laughs> I come with you, Mr. Kenyon. Blimey, you are dropping a clinker. <laughs> you mean clanger. Yes, please. Yes, well. All right, let's continue with our lesson. Uh, get out your textbooks. I'm going to give you all a few exercises. Uh, excuse me, Professor. Uh, I can't do any exercises. Why not? I've got a bad back. <laughs> excuse me, I was looking for a... Ah, at last. A pity you didn't arrive half an hour earlier. Why? You might have saved me a great deal of embarrassment with a certain African gentleman. Oh. Yes, he was a school's inspector, but I mistook him for you. You thought a gentleman was me? <laughs> yeah. The silly fool tried to pretend he was a student and sit at the back to try to catch me up, but I saw through him. I gather you think he was a bit stupid. Oh, definitely. Thick as a brush. What's his name, Mr. Kenyon? Yes. Do you know him? Uh, I should do. I've come to collect him. Ah. I am his wife. <laughs> oh, blimey, yes! You have dropped another clinker! <laughs> Thank you.